Karena saya suka hewan seperti ini, apalagi yang bentuknya hampir mirip sama manusia. Nah, seperti ibu untuk mereka, mama untuk mereka. Orangutans. These red-haired apes are highly intelligent and are closely related to humans. They spend most of their life high in the trees of their tropical rainforest home. Here, they forage for miles a day through the canopy in search of fruit, leaves, and a good nesting place. But sadly, their forest is under serious threat. Of all the rainforests covering our planet, orangutans can only be found on the islands of Borneo and Sumatra. They play an important role in the biodiversity of the forest by spreading the seeds of hundreds of trees. Over the past two decades, Borneo has lost more than half of its original orangutan habitat, and in the past 60 years, the number of Bornean orangutans has more than halved. As the orangutans are forced out of their trees in their search for food, they are confronted with man. Many of them are killed or captured and end up as pets, housed in small cages. But despite the ongoing deforestation, there is hope. The Dutch Orangutan Rescue Foundation helps to save orangutans by supporting the Indonesian Sintang Orangutan Center, the SOC. The SOC Rescue Center in Western Borneo is the first step in rehabilitation for orangutans that have been rescued from illegal captivity. Here, a devoted team of local vets, keepers and primatologists observe their physical and mental condition and give them the necessary care and treatment. The SOC has a three-step program. The first step is the Orangutan Rescue Center in Sintang. In the Tembak Lestari Forest School, the orangutan's natural skills are stimulated in their natural environment. When the orangutans are capable of surviving in the wild, SOC releases them into the nearby Saran Forest. The SOC team has heard about a young female orangutan kept illegally in a small jungle village. Today, the team joins up with the local authorities on a rescue mission. On their way, the team passes the appalling destruction of the orangutan's natural habitat. The main reason today for logging the natural forests of Borneo is increasing worldwide demand for cheap palm oil which is found in more than half of our supermarket products. Palm oil companies are encroaching deep into the remaining jungles, logging, selling the wood, and planting oil palms. If you look at this disaster, this vegetation has almost no biodiversity left. It's basically a biological desert. There's no longer any place for animals in these systems. This palm oil industry has a severe impact on the social and economic structures of indigenous communities. Meanwhile, the team arrives in a small village where the surrounding forest has been recently cut down. Behind one of the houses, they find the baby orangutan named Chemong. She looks malnourished. Che Mong has been fed on only rice and hasn't climbed a tree for more than a year. The people are very selfish. They think that orangutans are like a people baby and they treat them like a, like a, like a human. 
like Chumong, many more orangutans are physically and mentally weak when they arrive at the SOC in Sintang. Severe malnutrition and trauma are the biggest challenges for the team to overcome. Jadi pertama kali saya ikut rescue yaitu saat kami rescue babu dan dari kondisinya dapat kita lihat bahwa babu mengalami obesitas karena diberi makanan manusia. Meet Monkey, who was psychologically damaged when he arrived. Monkey was locked up in a small cage for 10 long years. Only one of the many orangutans that have suffered the same fate. To add to this, most of the baby orangutans arrive traumatized. The bond between babies and their mothers is very strong, and during their first months, the babies have had no maternal physical contact. To capture the babies, poachers often kill the mothers right before their baby's eyes, causing them great distress and depression. Almost all of the babies, uh, in the beginning of their coming, they are very depressed, a trauma. Ketika saya bertemu orang hutan yang mungkin mengalami trauma. Yeah, that's the story. It's not the story. That's the reality. Yeah. That's the baby. All the babies is crying because they lost their mother. When Chumong finally gets out of her cage, it also seems she has been deprived of attention for a long time. Although keeping orangutans is illegal, the owner isn't prosecuted but asked to voluntarily hand over the orangutan to ensure a better future, just as for Chemong. In this way, the SOC team raises awareness in local communities about sensible wildlife conservation. After years of captivity, these orangutans have forgotten how to live in the wild or never learned such skills from their mother. It's the team's job to trigger their instincts again. Keepers Bujang and Jesse train the babies. Jesse sets an example to the baby orangutans by showing them how to climb. Ya, bantu mereka buat segala sarang supaya mereka bisa nanti di sananya bisa lincah untuk memanjat pohon supaya tidak banyak untuk Bermain di bawah. The SOC further tries to stimulate the development of natural behavior by setting challenges in obtaining food or making a nest. Food is wrapped up and hidden. This stimulates the animal's creativity and problem-solving skills. Kami menggunakan enrichment untuk memberikan rekreasi kepada orang hutan sehingga tidak stres. Selain itu untuk memberikan skill kepada orang hutan yang mungkin berguna untuk dirinya saat dia dilepaskan di alam liar. The orang hutan that we take care of now have to learn again to be wild because they get used to live with the human. So they need to be a orang hutan again. The second step in the SOC program is the forest school Tembak Lestari, a three-hour drive into the interior. The orangutans, who are now physically and mentally in good shape again, move to a pristine forest area to further develop their natural skills in a natural habitat. The local Dayak community of Tembak is fully involved with the SOC program. They have provided an area of their forest near their village. Every day, the orangutans roam the forest, accompanied by their keepers. Here, they put into practice the skills they have learned in Sintang. Eight-year-old Joy is doing well. She knows exactly where to find the delicacies of the tropical rainforest. And that's high within the treetops. The keepers monitor her carefully. Some of the orangutan can learn quickly, uh, like Joy. 
after three months here, it's already very good climber. But not everybody is as skillful as Joy in finding his or her way around the forest school. Mamat isn't such a climber, not yet at least. Mamat was locked up for years in a small cage on a chicken farm. He could barely move his arms and legs. He was basically dying. But after two years of training with extraordinarily dedicated staff, he made a remarkable recovery. Mamat has come a long way. His motor skills still need to be improved. But every day, the team sees progress. Untuk memanjat dengan menggunakan tali dan kita beri buah di ujungnya dan e, memancing orang hutan agar mengikuti buah tersebut sehingga dia mulai melatih dirinya menggunakan e, otot-ototnya dan kemampuannya memanjat menjadi lebih baik. Parts of the forest school are being fenced off to prevent the less skilled orangutans wandering off and night shelters are being built. A small field hospital is already operational. As there are still many orangutans kept as pets in Western Borneo, the facilities at the forest school will need to expand in the future to offer sanctuary to them and further the recovery work. These orangutans are in a unique situation. This village that donated this 58 hectare forest school who are now protecting the 30,000 hectare large release area, which is the very best orangutan habitat in the world. The ultimate goal in the SOC program is to release the graduates of the forest school in the Saran forest. In this way, we will give more orangutans a future in the wild again. Mamat, Joy, Beno, they are the lucky ones. They have a very good chance of making it back. And we're going to do everything we can to make sure that they're going to stay safe in that forest. Back in Sintang, Chimong is placed in the good care of the SOC rescue team. Harapan saya ke depannya untuk uh, Sintang Orangutan Center, saya sangat mengharapkan kami sukses. Keberadaan kita ini sangat-sangat membantu keberadaan orangutan dan sangat-sangat penting bagi uh, kelangsungan hidup mereka. Dia nanti pasti ikut gabung sama bibi orangutan. Although for her the jungle is still far away, Chumong now stands a fighting chance to one day be released into the wild again. <laughs>